All right, what we're going to do now, again, this whole thing is to gain access and disconnect items. We're going to um, take the, the, select, the gear lever selectors off of the transmission. So what we're going to do is we're going to release the clips on this stop holder, basically. And uh, remember, these are parts we're going to reuse, so we're, we're going to be real careful with these. And we're going to spread these one forward, one rear. It uh, comes, it'll, it'll release it out of its, out of its bracket. And that's really it. And we do the other one, same thing, release and out of the bracket. It's going to be a little difficult to show you what we're going to do next. What we have to do is detach the selector lever cable from the ball joint. There's two ball joints here. One basically is for, uh, is for reverse, uh, one of the levers, and the other is for your other gears. You have to release this uh, clip and slide it off and take, the, uh, and take the ball joint, take it out of there. All right, good. Now we want to show you what we were actually working with there. Said that there was a, a little clip. And you can see in the inside of this ball joint, the ball went in here. This little clip retained it. When I had the screwdriver in here, all I did was release this and let it drive down. And I know it's difficult to show you, but that's how it comes off. Once this is off, the ball joint's seated in here. Just merely, you got to give it a good tug. Uh, maybe a little bit of help with a helper and you just pull it right off that ball joint and uh, on the transmission and it will seal, uh, excuse me, and it will just extract right off of there. And now we have uh, removed our gear selector cables from our transmission. What we've located here now is the pulse generator and this is actually measuring off the revolutions of the crankshaft. Let me go ahead and, uh, and take the cover off so that you can see it here. What's interesting about this is that our, our hope is that this is going to go ahead and uh, give us the signal for our tachometer, uh, or that that's where the signal for the tachometer is actually coming from, and we'll, we'll figure out how to, uh, how to work that in with our uh, electric motor. So we've got the cover off, we've got our wire labeled, we're just gonna go ahead and unplug the, uh, the pulse generator lead, and uh, we're gonna move on. Now we've located the, uh, the lead here for the air conditioning compressor. This is another one of those leads that we are hoping that we're going to be able to use uh, because we're going to put in the AC that's going to be electric driven and this should be the lead that will go ahead and uh, engage our, uh, our electric air conditioning. So as our other plugs, we're going to just go ahead and grab it here, disconnect it and uh, that's really it. We've got our, uh, our air conditioning lead uh, located and marked. Now we've located the uh, starter here in the leads for the starter. Um, we went ahead and, and prepped these. We've got a, uh, a plug here. And we've also got the connection as a 13 millimeter uh, nut up here. We went ahead and pulled that. The battery's disconnected right now, so we wrapped it up in, uh, in electrical tape. But to open up the doors, check some of the environmental controls and things like that, um, we want to make sure that, that isn't touching any metal and short out. So we've just wrapped that up. This, this again is another circuit that we're going to be using uh, because this is going directly to our, what will be our auxiliary battery, what was the main battery for the, uh, for the Mini Cooper, and that's going to come into play in our uh, uh, DC circuit. So we're going to go ahead and uh, label that again, starter, and we should be able to reuse that. All right, so now we've come to another juncture here. We've got the wiring on top of the engine for the most part labeled and disconnected. Underneath, most of it is labeled and disconnected. It's just now we're starting to find things that we really just can't reach. Uh, the alternator, the friction gear, sensors. So there's some, we, we've got to take the front end off the car. We're, we're at that point now. So we've got to take off the wheel arches, the, um, the grill, the bumpers, headlights, uh, expansion tank for the coolant, the reservoir for the windshield washers, um, there's a lot of stuff in here that we can't even see right now, the radiator, etc. Um, just bear in mind when you're taking things apart, be as careful as you can. There are things like uh, body shop clips uh, that you know, you're going to break them every now and then. You can buy them usually down at a body shop, auto parts store, or on the internet. Uh, try not to mangle the paint job and things like that, and that's what we're going to be real careful of. But eventually, this thing's going to be torn down a parade rest here, exposing the engine and we'll be able to uh, grab it with a hoist and 
relieve the Mini Cooper of its uh, internal combustion components. All right, what we're going to do here is, is uh, take off the wheel arches. That's this area right here to the lower, uh, connects to the lower apron and uh, to the side running board. So it's a little problematic for us to show you exactly what we're doing. So we've already taken the one off of the left side and I'm going to uh, give you a couple pointers. One is, this is attached right here to this apron. There's a clip here, and you can see it here. This was on the other side, this clip. Also, there's a side marker. There's a light, we've labeled it with its wire that comes off of there. The clip looks like this. And you have to get a small screwdriver under there and wedge it out. It'll go ahead and release these and this will slide right out. Again, this one here is in this area. After we do that, there's these little clips here. And half of the clips run in this direction, half of the clips run in the reverse direction. After we've gotten this off, then we're going to go ahead and push this forward, releasing the trim from the clips. And bear in mind, you may break some of these clips. They are available. They're a, a, a mini part number and you can get them. They'll be happy to sell them to you by the bag if you need them. And then when you get these three off, then you're going to go to the back ones, and they're in the opposite direction, or four, in the opposite direction, going to release the bumper back towards the door, uh, excuse me, the trim toward the door, and you'll go ahead and, uh, and you'll have that trim piece removed. Some of these may be still in the body. Uh, you just go ahead and work them out from the back, uh, the, and uh, that will be it, and you'll have the, uh, the trim arch off. All right, so we've got our screwdriver here we're going to go ahead and get this and sorry we really can't show it to you we kind of explained it to you work this out pull it off another one up here work it out with the screwdriver pull it off okay release our side marker light and again here's what we were talking about screwdriver up under this it pulls almost out body shop clip and just pull it out of the hole Take the trim and lift it out from the body. There's two little tabs up under here. Hopefully they cooperate. And we can release those here. I hope. Well, I'm not having too good of a time here, but this is our first time. There we go. And they release. Then we're going to go ahead and rotate this forward a little bit and pull these body shop clips, pull them back. Uh -oh. And there we go. We've got the trim off. All right, what we're gonna take off is the front grill here, this chrome piece. Not that difficult. We've got, again, some of these little uh, friction clips, body clips. We're just gonna put a tool like this in front of it, or a screwdriver would work if you don't have something like this, and just pop them out. And one more, there's four of them. Okay, we'll get rid of those. And we've got a uh, trim piece here. There's a tab behind it. Let's push it down, you'll find that it's right here, and you'll see it. So straight down from this gap, push down, release the chrome, on the trim, then there's four little tabs right here that you have to push down or push in. You see here, in, here it goes in toward the center. And one more, and there we go. We have uh, released the chrome grill.